Murray, Jacqueline Bissett. Here's Caroline.
the amazing Charles Bush. He wrote the play, and he stars as the leading lady. <laughs> he's more feminine and girly than I'll ever be, but he's totally fantastic, so you have to go see that. We're starting a new series this month called The Amazing Waste. so annoyingly embarrassing if I died right here on stage like that. Because everyone would be like, isn't that funny? She's doing a bit. I'd be like down for like an hour. Anyway, um, okay, here's the deal. We're going to have teams, two people per team. They're going to be competing to lose weight. But you get weighed as a team. You never get weighed individually. And each week, I know, because Bob and I are like five pounds away from being an officially fat couple. Anyway, so at the end of each week, <laughs> the team who has lost the least amount of weight will be eliminated from the competition. And there's major, major things to be won, besides health, which is sort of, you know, the point of it. So if you'd like to be considered, go to our website and sign up. Here is a sample of some of the submissions that we've received so far. This one is from Jerry and Lisa Christian from Haines City, Florida. Uh, first of all, if you're watching, I love you for making this tape. <laughs> As you can see, we're, we're, we're going to make oh. <laughs> a mistake. There's a couple that were very close to that would love to be chosen to be part of your amazing waste contest. They're kind of shy, but we think with a little coaxing we could get them to come out and show their faces. Come, come on, on out. guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come come on. on. Show your face. Come here, on. here they come. Here they come. your fat sometimes and making faces. You've done it. Come on. Admit it. Why am I looking right at you, Ralph? I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, you know, in November, we, we traveled around the country. We were searching for our talent for now that's, for our now that's talent competition. And in Cleveland, I met this really cute boy, Mike Polk, and he has kept in touch with us. Although I thought he was very cute when I met him, but I think he, he felt that our relationship took a different turn than I did. And he sent me this little tape. Anyway, um, D just take a look at this is a moment of the tape that he recently sent me. We're meant to be together. I've got the evidence right here. Believing for so long, I'm all out of love. What <laughs> is that weird or what? <laughs> what are you running from, Caroline? Can't you see that this is bigger than both of us? Remember, you can hide from your feelings, but you can't hide from the truth. Where you know Where were these men in my 20s, okay? <laughs> anyway, he happens to be in town, uh, and he's in our studio, visiting us all the way from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, Ohio. <laughs> Ohio, why did I have to babysit last night? Ohio. <laughs> Please welcome Mike Polk. got me a trip here, which was nice and a bit I suspicious. Did. Yeah. No, I, I got say. you a trip <laughs> no? a long time ago. Right, and I, and I finally took advantage of it, and I came out, and I'm having a great time in New York. You it's are? A, it's did a blast. You, did you see any Broadway plays so far? I actually just went and saw The Graduate the other night. That was really good. With, uh, yeah, yeah. We, got, we got some people in it, apparently, here. <laughs> but um, with Lorraine Bracco, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? And she does, the, the woman from The Sopranos. Uh, yeah, I know. And She's she, on the show tomorrow. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, there you go. And she does, she does a, this great nude scene. I was right. really surprised, and she was like that hot mom from high school, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it was really nice, but you should check that out if you get a chance. I've already seen it. Oh, you have? Yeah. There's huh? no way. I, if I was naked on stage, I would be like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It wasn't going to work. But I'm enough. on Broadway this week. Are you? How, yes, how's I am. That? I'm, uh, I'm at Caroline's on Broadway. Oh, really? Can I have This tickets? whole weekend. Can I have tickets? Check her out. Look at me. I'm checking this out. But um, here's the thing, dear. I'm not here to talk about... Lorraine Bracco. Are you going to propose? Not quite yet. <laughs> Let's not jump the gun. 
but I'm here to talk about <laughs> little old you. Little right? me, okay. Now, here's the thing. I think, uh, I think I'm think i crush material. You have these little crushes. I do. I get my crushes. They're I'm looking cute. for one for 2003. You know, well, I think I think I'm your candidate. Here, here, let me, let me do it. Here's your crushes, though, that I've seen so far. Okay. You got, here. Okay. Have you got them in the back? I made these. Yeah, they're back here. Okay. I just made these. All right, you got this guy. This this this. Tool. Matthew Morrison. Matthew Don't Morrison. Say <laughs> no. From from Broadway. He's in. What's he in Oklahoma? Hairspray. Oh, hairspray. Whatever. He's in hairspray. Okay. It's the same thing. It's the same show. I think. It's, but look at. Uh, now I'm Matthew Morrison. You kiss me, and then I wipe the kiss off. Did yes. you see that? Yeah, I saw it. He was like, "Oh, cutie." Right. Blah, 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 blah. So let's get rid of yeah. him. He's gone. All right. You know, he's not worth. All right, it. Matthew he's is not gone. Not worth your trouble. I've had okay. to break and up then, with him. Then we got this little guy, your band member, Chris, Chris Bodie. Bodie. Yeah, the, the little trumpet guy. Yeah, we, yeah we, he's, he's pretty like, cute. Hey, hey, you're on my side. <laughs> You're on my side. Okay, so we got Chris Bodie <laughs> uh -huh. here. And you know what? I mean, he laughs at your jokes and everything. You're cute, Caroline, stuff, but you know what? Two words, Caroline. Paycheck. You pay his paycheck, all right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so that's why he put his shirt on. Put his shirt on. What's he doing? <laughs> Come on. All right, so, and who does that leave? Uh-oh. Steve Martin? No, that's me. <laughs> oh. That's me. <laughs> it's not that bad. Right. You are so much cuter than Thank this you. guy. I agree. I First agree. of all, it's all like right. way to cut a picture of yourself so that you appear bald when oh, you actually have hair. Right. Okay, go well, ahead. Yeah. Well, just don't look at him. So right. far, I'm feeling a lot of mad. So, anyways, be honest. Okay. I'm the new thing. I'm the crush for 2003. Right. Am I not supposed to pick my own crushes though? Yeah, yeah, but look how that's turned out for you so far. Okay. You know. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> All I'm right. talking about a crush that will crush you back. Oh, okay. I'm the crush that crushes back. All you right. see? I, you're going to definitely... Take advantage of that. Uh, okay. In fact, I got a little something that I, I kind of worked out. Exactly. Yeah. It kind of worked out for you here. Okay. I uh, I wrote a little song for you. You wrote a song for me? On the cab ride over. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Can I, can I sing you the song? Is that okay? Is that all right if I sing you the song? Do you need a mic? No, no, I don't need a mic. Are you kidding do you, me? Do you need a mic, Mike? I got pipes like you wouldn't believe. All right. <clears throat> so... Let me start like a mm, little something, little something. No. I, I I haven't been sung to before. It makes me a little nervous. It had to be you. <laughs> I wrote this one. You wrote this. It had to be who? It had to be you, Caroline. I wandered around and finally found that somebody who who's my special lady, who makes me be true. Who made me be blue, <laughs> or even be glad, just to be sad, thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be me, might never be cross, or try to be boss, but they would not do, no they wouldn't care a Up next, he acts, he directs from the new movie, P.S. Your Cat is Dead, Steve Gutenberg. It had to be you, Caroline. Now at Payless, buy any pair of shoes and get any red tag item half off. You deserve it. Look smart. Payless. New Fix-It and Complete Denture Adhesive. The stronghold you expect, plus more. A better fit. Fresher breath. Fewer stains. Less soreness. New Fix-It and Complete. And forget it. Hey, Mom, can I get this? Too much Kung Fu. Oh, she's my favorite singer. Not enough skirt. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> Too many uninvited guests. Finding just the right balance for your family can be quite a challenge. But with Angel Soft, the balance is built in. It's made with two Angel Soft layers for just the right balance. So it's soft and strong. Mom! <laughs> Not enough aspirin in the Western Hemisphere. Angel Soft, just the right balance of softness and strength. <laughs> There's only one way to make a great meat sauce their way so we did new ragu rich and meaty with half a pound of meat ladies looks like adding half a pound of meat to ragu's rich juicy tomatoes and authentic
authentic Italian spices meets with their approval. New ragu rich and meaty with half a pound of meat. What if you could change your life in 30 minutes? In 30 minutes, I learned to flirt again. I changed the way I ate, felt, looked. Now there's a place called Curves, where for 30 minutes, three times a week, your dreams are our goals. When you're ready, call for a free week at Curves. And discover the power to amaze yourself. Happy. You just did a little Clinton right I there. did the Clinton thing. They're good people. Happy. You know, I saw President Clinton recently. You did? And he did this to me, which is one of the best things ever. Did you have to be me, and I'm the president. Oh, you have to come on my show. <laughs> Happy New Year. I'm the president, right? So okay. you say, hello, Mr. President. How are you? <laughs> Better now. <laughs> Tomorrow, from HBO smash hit The Sopranos, Lorraine Bracco. Plus, third watch is Anthony Ruivivar. Tomorrow. We're, I'm putting a cough drop back in my water. We're live and back, but I knew that. Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, first of all, I just said that you should all go see a play called Shanghai Noon. It's called Shanghai Moon. So sorry. Douglas, I know you're watching. Forgive me. All right. Our first guest has starred in hugely popular films like Three Men and a Baby, Cocoon, and Police Academy. I think he's been in basically every movie ever made. He really is incredibly popular. His de directorial <laughs> debut, P.S. Your Cat is Dead, opens in cities... Next Friday, please welcome Steve Gutenberg. So nice. How are you? You look so beautiful. Oh, you look so nice. I was so watching sweet. you backstage. You look so beautiful. Your hair is gorgeous. You're so kind. You Gosh. Look beautiful. And I mispronounced your name. I apologize. It's Gutenberg. 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 I know. Like the press. Like the press. Like the printing press. Absolutely. There you go. Do you remember when we met over at the Hollywood Square? Uh, absolutely with our did. Pal Mike King. Yes. Yeah. It was a couple years ago. Yes, and, and I was like, I should have done something with him. One wow. of your fifty-five thousand. <laughs> well, I meant film one. <laughs> You know, I bring in one crush from the Midwest, and then you judge me. Now, you, right? you, were, you were babysitting last night? I was babysitting. Oh, okay. So yeah. That's, that's the, the first baby got up at 1. Oh, yeah. all right. And so I that... went to sleep at 12.05, so <laughs> basically this is my hair. Uh, it was... I um, think you look beautiful. I look gorgeous. Steve, you're too charming. Oh, you do. Um, okay, can, I just have to talk to you about some of my favorite films of yours. Oh, thank you. Okay, he's got a pretty amazing thing. The films that he's been... have. Okay. Can you just talk for a second? Absolutely. I'm just going to, okay. Uh, I just, the films that I've been in are <laughs> just a, They've made over a billion dollars, all of them. Haven't they? If you can, right. like, add them all together. That's right. Yeah. Thank a you. billion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody in Hollywood. Thank you so much. <laughs> Instead of Joe Millionaire, we're going to have Steve Billionaire. Yeah, well, they, they, they bought a lot of pizza, pizza up there. I babysit the last <laughs> night, too. Uh, they bought a lot of people a lot of beach houses. So, oh, they uh, did? Yeah, they did. Well, that's nice. Do you yeah. have a nice beach house? No, I don't. I actually put my money into this new movie, P.S. Your Cat is Dead. <laughs> I had a choice between doing a beach house or a movie, so I chose a movie. Wow. Yeah. So you're going to go see the movie every summer when it's really hot? Uh, <laughs> I hope so. I'll do something. <laughs> All right. Before we get to your new movie, look, let's just look at some of the pictures. Okay, Diner. How great was he in Diner? How great was that movie? Uh, it's it was amazing. It was amazing. But you know, when we were filming it, I mean, we were all unknown. And what people love when they see somebody filming is what movie you're doing. Right. So we would say Diner, and they would say, never heard of it. We'd go, right. And they'd say, who's in it? We'd say, Steve Gutenberg, Mickey Rourke, Kevin Bacon. Never heard of him. So <laughs> finally, a guy comes out of his house, and he says, what are you filming? And we went, The Godfather. And he went, oh, it's my favorite film. <laughs> and he goes, well, what scene you're filming? I said, we're filming the scene at the toll booth when Sonny gets shot. He goes, that's my favorite scene. I go, yeah, well, Jimmy Conn's coming out in a little while. People want to really believe this, so I, you know, we gave what they wanted. We're doing the remake with the original cast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same scenes. Everything said. Look at this. You look like such babies. Was this your first movie? No. No, it was one of my first. We were, this was about 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And do you remember, he wouldn't get married until his wife would pass this quiz about football. That's right. It's right. A, it's a football quiz, and he, uh, he wouldn't get married. And actually, she failed. Yeah. And he said the marriage is off. Right, I remember. The marriage is off, and he went away, and then finally there was a, 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 a comeuppance. What would be your test if you were going to get married? What would you, like, what would you test the woman on? Uh, do 
you love me? That's it? Oh. Yeah, do you love me? Aww. Do you love me? And... Okay, Mike Polk just went to five. Steve Gutenberg <laughs> went to four on the list. Okay? All right. Three men and a baby. Great. <laughs> Yeah, great. You know, and actually, we're thinking about doing a remake, which You're would be kidding. great. Yeah, doing another three one. Three men and a, well, the baby's going to be about 22 by it'll now. Be like, so I think be like three men and a teenager. Three men and a teenager. Three men and a teenager. No, um, are you serious? I think, yeah, absolutely. There's one coming out in France right now called uh, 18 Years Later. And uh, it's going to probably be a smash hit, and we'll probably do one right here. Wait, did you guys Ted, do it? The 18 no, no, Years Later? Oh, they did okay. one in France with the French cast. Oh, okay. Because it was originally a French film. Right, right, right. So Tom and Ted and I are going to get back, and we'll do another one. That's so great. And they, you know, Tom and Ted are just great guys. I'm sure you know them, and uh -huh. they're, they're wonderful guys, and I'm really looking forward to doing it. That would it be again. so fun. Now, yeah. I've worked with babies. Yeah. You can't really tell them what to do. No, you can't. But we have, <laughs> you usually have twins. Yes. And the great thing about babies are they're totally honest, so you always get this great stuff. <laughs> you know, I mean, and they're sometimes totally you honest. get some... You were terrible in that scene, Caroline. <laughs> well, right, you get whatever. some, uh, some poo-poo stuff, too, so that yeah, happens. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> but, you know, in that film, everybody talks about the ghost that was in one of the scenes. People really think that there was a ghost in the movie, and actually it was just a little cutout of Ted, uh, which was in all of the, but you know, when the film came out and went to video, everybody bought the video to see the ghost. So I just say, yeah, there's a ghost, and yeah. I know that I'll make some more money. There's a ghost. There's a ghost, and at the end, there's a, there's a scene from The Godfather. A, that's, that's what you right. tell people. <laughs> that's right, Jimmy Cobb. Okay, look at you, Humana Humana, in Cocoon. This is one of the best movies ever made. Thank you. Thanks. Great film. Great, Great film. film. And I actually... I know, you had a little romance on that film. I had a crush on Jessica Tandy. <laughs> I actually did. I mean, a beautiful lady. But Hume Cronin, he's got a great right hook. He's a Canadian boxer. You've got to stay away from him. You know, it does, I wouldn't... I don't mess with Hume Cronin. And here, bringing... Oh, Lord, in the police academies. Look at, look at you in these jeans. Yeah. And, One through four. And, and you know who this is? That's, uh, that's, that's Kimmy Cattrall. Oh, my gosh, look, that's Kim Cattrall. That's Kimmy Cattrall right there. From Sex in the City. Sex in the City, yeah. Who everybody wow. was in love with when we were shooting. I, I loved her in Mannequin. But look at you with your cutoffs. Yeah, I it's, got that little cutoff. Look, look at the cutoff jeans. Yeah, that's oh. my. <laughs> we should really get our money back from the 70s, don't you think? Well, you I know, mean, you know, those you're, were just you're, terrifying. You've got to save money. Then when you go all around the world, people know you. Like, they come up to you and go, oh, my God, I saw you in. What's the first yeah. thing they always say? Um, you know, I'm really grateful because I have so many films that go to a wide group of the audience. There's Cocoon or Short Circuit or right, Bedroom right. Window, and everybody's got their favorites, so I'm really lucky. Uh, I've done about 40 films, and there's, everybody has a little favorite and something that they like, and it's, it's, I, I really enjoy my career. I'm very, very lucky. You know what? You're so nice. You really are. Well, nice uh, is good. Nice is good. Nice, nice is good. Very good. When we come back, we're going to hear about Steve's new movie, P.S. Your Cat is Dead. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Still to come, playing Jackie O in the new TV movie, America's Prince, the John F. Kennedy Jr. story, actress Jacqueline Bissett. It's Art Expo 2003. This Saturday, choose from thousands of beautiful original oils on canvas. Giant sofa size paintings sold elsewhere for hundreds of dollars, as low as $19. Smaller paintings from $7. Absolutely nothing over $49. It's an art expo and sale this Saturday, 11 to 4. In Raleigh at the Holiday Inn at Crabtree Valley Mall. And in Fayetteville at the Holiday Inn Bordeaux. Original sofa size oil paintings from $19 this Saturday, 11 to 4. Battle of the Brands. Five nationally advertised pool table brands will be available for direct sale under one roof. Peter Vitale, Leisure Bay, Folio, World of Leisure, and American Heritage. Recreational Factory Warehouse has been chosen to host the biggest national sales event ever. Factory reps will be on site competing for your business. Guaranteed discounts at the $1,400 off nationally published prices. Easy on-site financing available. Four days only, Thursday through Sunday. First come, first served. Recreational Factory Warehouse. 4700 North Capitol Boulevard, Raleigh. Tomorrow, how can something so right... Daddy got the big three! ...go so wrong? Let's go to the Hojo's, honey. Just Mary, rated PG-13. Tomorrow, only in theaters. The average American family is only three paychecks away from being homeless. A personal tragedy could put anyone on the street. Add to that substance abuse, and some could find themselves in pretty deep water. At the Raleigh Rescue Mission, we not only provide food and shelter in the Triangle area, we provide a way out. Call 919-828-9014 today and help us keep a few more heads above water. Tomorrow is Oprah. I don't think we can afford this. Oh, look how nice this is, seriously. I definitely want this. For them, the conflict is cash. 
What can they afford? Money Coach Susie Orman, tomorrow's Oprah. Watch Oprah tomorrow at 4 on ABC 11. Ralph, you sound excellent. Thank you very much. You sound excellent. I'm shaggy. Uh, <laughs> you got this audience is so great. I have the nicest, so nicest great. audience. And you, it's so supportive. I, I love them. It's a good thing. Your I, music is great. Thank I you. love my groovy little band. I love my groovy giant audience. I must you got say. Got a great crew. Everybody here is so sweet. It came in. Everybody was so friendly. Really gets you in a great mood. You're so sweet. I am going to fix you up with the best girl. <laughs> I am. I am. Okay. Um, all right, tell me about P.S. Your Cat is Dead and explain the title. I know why it is called that. Well, P.S. Your Cat is Dead is about a fellow who's having the worst day of his life on New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. comes home, his girlfriend tells him that his cat is dead, and <laughs> leaves him. And he finds a burglar under his bed, they have a huge drag-out fight, and knocks the burglar out unconscious, and instead of calling the police, he ties him up and says, you and I are going to spend New Year's Eve together. <laughs> and that's the end of the thir first 30 minutes. So he's not going to be alone. Okay, we have a clip. Let's take a look. So this is what we're going to do. The market is down now, and for me to raise that kind of cash, I would have to sell at a loss. So, you're going to move in here with me. Oh. Won't have to worry about anything, and you can just write your little heart out. No. And I'll even proofread for you. It's perfect. I'm a grown man. I, I, I need to just hold up by myself. <laughs> It's so, it's so great to get this kind of support when you go out and do your own film. Yeah. You know, I went out and, and produced it and directed it and wrote it, and it's wonderful to come out and promote it now and get support from other artists like yourself and people in the I, audience. I right. love Shirley Knight. Oh, she's a doll and such an accomplished actress. So wonderful. Yeah, Academy Award nominee, Tony winner, Emmy winner. Wow, I didn't yeah, know all that. Yeah, and very easy to work with. Fantastic. All right. Now, it's, um, Paul, my little producer over there. No, no, you don't have to worry. He, he was telling me that you got injured. During yeah, the I did. Of Actually, what happened? in the third day of filming, we have a fight scene. And, you know, every time I, I do a film and we have a violent scene, the producer says, we're going to shoot that the last day. Because if anything happens to you, you know, you're done and we're done. <laughs> but I was the producer and I said, nothing's going to happen to Gutenberg. He's indestructible. So what <laughs> happened on the third day is I fell wrong, hit the couch, and insulted all the nerves on my left side and couldn't use my arm for about two months. So we had to shut down. And thank God I got my arm back. But I only have about 90%. But I had no surgery and everything's okay. But it was a little dramatic for a while. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. But thank, thank God everything's okay and, you know, what we came back. What does that mean you insulted the nerves? Well, it's when there's, there's nerves that go through it and when they get a big pound, they, they call it being insulted. They right. go into hibernation. And really? they almost go to sleep and you can't move that part of your body. And they call it insulting the nerves. Bizarre. I thought I just said something wrong to my nerves, and I thought <laughs> maybe if I complimented them, your beautiful nerves, you're gorgeous, so look how you are, they'd come back, but they didn't. You unfeeling things. Yeah, All right. but they I'm came like back, nothing. and I'm okay now. I'm okay. I can protect you if anything happens. All right. You can protect me? Absolutely. If Mike Polk comes out again, Well, he was you... great. You liked him? I loved him. He was enthusiastic. He's a he huge fan you. of yours, too, though. He was a really nice guy. I passed him the hall and said, I, listen, uh, you know, you were great. <laughs> he was fantastic. He was a great singer, and... You gotta nurture young talent. I, yeah, I, there he is. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. You gotta, you gotta nurture young oh. talent. It had to be good. It had to be good. I thought that was you wrote that for My me. My favorite film throughout all of time is Short Circuit 2. <laughs> Steve Daniels asked a lot of questions. Questions like, what do we know about this story? Who can I call? It's true. A lot of questions. You know, he was an investigative reporter at the network. He really knows how to go after a story. I like it. He's always thinking. Really involved. ABC 11, Steve Daniels, the anchor who gets to the bottom of the story. There are a lot of interesting questions about this. I mean, we're looking at... Turn to him for answers at 5.30 and 11 on ABC 11. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Coming in January. 
Paul Callan never believed in miracles. I've seen weeping statues, housewives with stigmata, and every time there's a mundane explanation. Then something extraordinary happened. Why would God do that? Who said it was God? Ignore your fears. Help us. Open your eyes. Trust your heart. I'll be right here. Miracles, coming in January to ABC. porcelain cow and stuff it with crisp hundred dollar bills you get an you get an action-packed game we call cash cow the first time we played the game no one took home our five hundred dollar prize so we added another five hundred dollars and no one took that home either so today we're adding more moolah another five hundred bucks little heifer is filled with one 15 15 100 dollar bills this is nice okay mm. okay every person in our studio audience received a number ticket when they entered the studio i'm gonna pull a ticket out of my cow <laughs> that's why i love my job because who else gets to say that if i call out your number you're today's cash cow contestant okay i hate this paper cut paper cut Number 56. Nothing at all. And if it's C, I don't want to know. Okay? 
All right, hold on. All right, because this is for money, and I want to. All right, I'm not seeing any kind of a line. His pants aren't tight enough. Yeah, sir, sir, that's not necessary. <laughs> I feel that's almost an automatic win. I really do. All right, do you like the kind that go down like this? I oh, can't I, I, I just want her to win. Oh, 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 oh. What is he wearing? Yeah, do you think he's, he's wearing? He's wearing boxers. No. Tidy whitey. Wait, but no, tidy whitey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no. Tidy whiteys can go like that. Yes, they can't. No, yeah. tidy whiteys oh, can go like can. this. Those, those wonderful Calvin Klein. Those, those are boxer briefs. Yes, no, those so are cute. Boxers. I've been trying to get my husband to wear those. No, I. You know what? I feel we need. See, no, I. I'm giving it to her. I'm giving okay. it to her. Okay. <laughs> When they're down like this, the tidy whitey. Is that what you're talking about, sir? The tidy whiteies? Yes. 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 Oh, are you talking about tidy whiteies? I, well, would. No. <laughs> sir, don't take off your pants. <laughs> they're, they're brief tidy whiteies. Oh, they're, they're brief tidy whiteies. Okay. All right. The show's been over, and it's like Thursday, and we're like, I think that his underwear. <laughs> All right. So that one isn't right then? All right. Oh. I'm going to give up a makeup question. I can't take it. It's my show. Everyone oh. can back off. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> For a Sony Watchman, how much money does Evan Marriott, the real guy from Fox's new reality show, Joe Millionaire, make a year? A, 50 million, B, 200,000, C, 19,000. 19,000. Okay, so she knows it's mm. <laughs> Ed, can't I make up like an alternate question? What kind of underwear do you think, all right, I can't just go randomly. All right, here's a question. What era does... Smith's hair remind you of the most? The 70s, the 80s, or the 21st century? His, right there, Smith. Oh. Right there, what, what era? The 70s. That's right, 70s. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> and we do need our money back from the 70s. Yeah, we need our money back. Okay. You've won everything so far. Ooh. We are now playing for the money. <laughs> Can I just make a point? Rosie gave away everything, okay? I'm allowed to do a little underwear thing. <laughs> Here's our final cash cow okay. question, and I want you to win that for $1,500. Oh, oh. Okay, what are you going to do if you win it? Oh, um, oh, shopping spree this afternoon at Bloomingdale's. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> Worthy cause, all right. You know, I go to a lot of weddings, and I'm eventually going to go to my own. Yes. <laughs> so, I have, they do that silly little chicken dance? Oh, yes. Okay, if you can show me how to do the chicken dance correctly, you will be our cash cow winner. Uh, oh, Hold on. Okay, okay no, no, no. Now, I'm, I cheated on the... I may have helped on the underwear. Play a little music. Can you do the chicken uh, dance? Yes, I can. Susie Orman, tomorrow's Oprah. Watch Oprah tomorrow at 4 on ABC 11. It's Art Expo 2003. This Saturday, choose from thousands of beautiful original oils on canvas. Giant sofa size paintings sold elsewhere for hundreds of dollars, as low as $19. Smaller paintings from $7. Absolutely nothing over $49. It's an Art Expo and sale this Saturday, 11 to 4. In Raleigh at the Holiday Inn at Crabtree Valley Mall. And in Fayetteville at the Holiday Inn Bordeaux. Original sofa size oil paintings from $19 this Saturday, 11 to 4. I've been in foster care since I was 11, and today is my birthday and I'm 15. I miss my brothers. I love my brothers. But as I start to get older and my little brothers don't remember my birthday, it hurts. It's just sad. Many children in Scotland County are crying out for a loving family. Change a child's life forever. Adopt, foster, or be a friend. Call Scotland County Families for Kids to make a child's dream come true. What is a hero? Are heroes born? Or are they made? 
In after school programs, your kids will uncover hidden strengths, discover they have the power to change their future, and find the hero inside themselves. Let us know you want after school programs in your area. Call 1 800 USA Learn. After school programs, helping kids find the hero within. Drive smarter. ABC11TV.com features real-time traffic cameras and conditions. See the traffic you'll face on your commute, helping you get where you're going faster, smarter. Online at ABC11TV.com. In the course of her amazing career, our next guest has appeared opposite some of film's greatest leading men. Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, Anthony Quinn, Nick Nolte, lucky, lucky girl. You can see her this Sunday playing Jackie Kennedy Onassis in the TVS movie America's Prince. Please welcome the very lovely Jacqueline Bissett. He was so beautiful on his bike. He would 
and he was so such a big star at that time. Everyone chased him. You know, everybody uh -huh. wanted to get, and he had such a, he was kind of furtive. He didn't want to be captured. So he, we would go to, we would go with the director and stuff to restaurants, and we would always be given a private room somewhere in the restaurant, yeah. and they would always find him. He, he's, he's, his, from the back, he was so recognizable. I know. How amazing for was, His son looks exactly like him. I know his son. Yeah. All right. Don't go away. When we come back, we're going to talk about Jacqueline's new movie in which she plays Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Don't go away. Maybe it's not stress that's making you irritable. Maybe it's hormones. They fluctuate as early as your 30s. Don't wait till menopause to get estrogen. With soy and black ohash to help balance hormones. Naturally. Safely. Don't wait till menopause to get estrogen. Now look for estrogen joint and bone. Max Factor's Lipfinity, the extraordinary lip color that lasts through drinking and eating. While other lipsticks claim to last for eight hours, Max Factor's Lipfinity guarantees it. If you find a lipstick that lasts longer, we'll give you your money back. Lipfinity from Max Factor, guaranteed. When you run a restaurant, no matter what's on the menu, you're only serving one thing, taste. And if you can get great taste without the extra sugar, mmm. That's the best. That's why I use Equal. There's no aftertaste like with some sweeteners. You like rich, creamy cheesecake? I do. I make it at home, too. And not with a half pound of sugar. I use Equal. Mocha Swirl. Great taste without the extra sugar. I love it. Zero calorie Equal. Have you tried it lately? The finest Hoover Upright. The wind tunnel has just gotten its second wind. Introducing the wind tunnel V2 with V2 technology. By focusing suction into powerful dual V-shaped air paths, it has cleaning power from edge to edge. It also has dual agitators that spread carpet fibers for deep cleaning. The wind tunnel V2, only from Hoover. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call the law office of James Scott Ferrin on the Hurt Line right now. What is a living will? ABC11TV.com answers common legal questions and more online. The ABC11 Legal Resource Center helps you find forms you need, information you want, and it's all at your fingertips. ABC11TV.com. Live smarter. Beautiful and very fun. I'm going to give you very fun, not just beautiful. Okay, Jacqueline <laughs> Bissett. Okay, will you set up this clip from the new movie, America's Prince? Let's have a look at it. And we'll. All right, then, then you, you take a look. I think it's when you weren't happy, but Daryl Hannah was. Daryl is important to me. Darling, anyone can see that. Mom, who I date is my choice. Well, I hope you don't expect me to tell you who to date. You're 32 years old. But damn it, Mom. You were not fooling anybody, especially Daryl. Why don't you like her? Since you're forcing this out of me, no, I don't think she's for you. Ooh, tough scene. Well, she, the lines after that, she says, but well, she's a very talented and lovely girl. But, um,. I of course, they cut that part. Yes, so. they cut yeah. a bit out. But actually, I think she did like her, and I think um, it just was about you know what well, political career maybe maybe right. probably not the maybe best not. choice. Yeah, I don't think she probably didn't particularly care for Hollywood people and that whole scene. I have a feeling. Yeah, when um, years ago when I first moved to New York, I catered for her. I was a cater waiter, and she was having lunch with Morris Temp it's Templeton. Templeton, and I was the waitress. Mm. I was serving the food, and mm. I told my mother this. But in Montreal, it was translated as Carol had lunch with Jackie O. <laughs> there was no mention that I served the food. Well, what did you, did you ever meet her personally? I met her for a couple of minutes. You did? I just met her, said hello. It was a moment. I was in the Russian tea room, mm -hmm. Candice Bergen, and she was there and she got introduced and it was one of those days when I was not in good form and I f wished it hadn't happened. But she was sort of cool. Oh, really? Cool, yes. Not exactly effusive. Right. Well, I can't imagine. I mean, she, did you find... She knew, I, she knew I'd been done the other film about her and that would have been... You know. oh. But I felt that we treated her fairly well, so I didn't feel it. 
But I still kind of you when you meet people you want to meet, you want to be in your good form. Absolutely. And I was, it was one of those days when I didn't look together. I think this movie's going to be extremely successful because no, everyone is obsessed with this. Yes, well, I think I can understand why. I'm obsessed with it now because... Well, they were royalty for us, you know? I mean, I think that's the closest thing, the Kennedy family. Yeah. Well, I don't know about royalty, but uh, that's something people talk about. But it's hard for me to relate to that. Look, Jackie said that. Hey! Wait. Could I play her now? Did you think it was me for a moment? No. Hey. All right. Thank but you very she much. Was, she was truly an interesting woman. Oh, I, she was? She was, yeah. Well, you do a, a very accurate portrayal. But, all right, America's Prince, the John F. Kennedy Jr. story, airs this Sunday on TBS. We'll be chatting about it on Monday. We'll be okay. right back. Thank you Thank so much. You. I can bring home the bacon. Bonnie. Fried up in a pan. Bonnie. I never, never let you forget your romance. Because I'm a woman. Uh-oh. People get in Whoa. <laughs> They're real. I'm a woman. For all the wives that lead three lives, it's Life with Bonnie. Tuesdays at 9, 8 central on ABC. Can I take the heels off now? The average American family is only three paychecks away from being homeless. A personal tragedy could put anyone on the street. Add to that substance abuse, and some could find themselves in pretty deep water. At the Raleigh Rescue Mission, we not only provide food and shelter in the Triangle area, we provide a way out. Call 919-828-9014 today and help us keep a few more heads above water. The Alarm Clock. The Coffee Pot and ABC 11 Eyewitness News. It's how people get going around the heart of Carolina. Beginning at 5 a.m., Sean Clark, Barbara Gibbs, and AccuWeather meteorologist Chris Holm. All the day's news, weather, and morning traffic. Plus the latest medical news from health anchor Angela Hamm. And troubleshooter Jennifer Julian helps you save time and money. It's the way to wake up in the heart of Carolina with John, Barbara, and Chris on ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Close captioning and other consideration for the Caroline Ratio provided by... Honey Bunches of Oats with Strawberries. We want everyone in America to try it. We tried Honey Bunches of Oats with Strawberries. We took the combination of Honey Oat Clusters and Flakes and added slices of real strawberries. Honey Bunches of Oats with Strawberries. When eyes get dry, scratchy, irritated, Visine Tears can soothe, moisturize, and protect like your own natural tears. And it's safe to use as often as you need. Visine Tears relieves dry eyes like your own natural tears. Go! I done struck go! That's good. And oh. And that's better. Like new cookies and a crunchy cookie. That's good. And your favorite candy. That's better. Cookies and and is better. I want to thank my guests. Yes, wave at the camera. Sorry. Steve Gutenberg, Jacqueline Bissett, on tomorrow's show, Lorraine Bracco, and Anthony Ruivivar from Third Watch. Now, dearest, you've written a poem? Yeah, this is my love poem for you. Dearest little liney, you make me feel so finey. No other hostess stirs my soul this way. My heart is light with laughter. Before, throughout, and after, I watch you in my living room each day. Surely and not maybe, you're meant to be my baby. Deep inside, I know you know it's true. So stop the sad denial and try Mike for a while. Before you know it, you will say, Bob who? <laughs>